I'm going to start out by blocking an area that I intend to use. Measuring about half an inch. Yeah, let's do half an inch from the top. Create a margin. I'm going to work kind of small for the purposes of the demonstration so it doesn't take forever. But yours should fill the whole page. We're going to be creating the illusion of depth using only changes in value in a little exercise that I like to call layers and holes. Some people call it stacked Swiss cheese, but I'm gonna start by making a couple of large organic shapes. They can go off the side of the picture plane if you want them to. And then, yeah, maybe one more. I'm going to take my dirty blending stump and spread some of that graphite around. I'm trying to get rid of the line, as always. I'm trying to have my shading consume the line. Sometimes you need the flat, so I'm going to switch up my grip. So rather than using that pencil grip, I'm going to do like an overhand, the way they told you not to do it in kindergarten. So that way I'm getting the side of the blending tool. And I'm using that circular motion because if you go vertical, you're going to end up with vertical streaks. And we don't want that. We want a smooth spread. Looks like I may need to build up some of that graphite here so I have a smooth transition. And my grip on this is a little bit lighter than it would be when I'm writing because I don't want to press quite so hard. Got an overhand grip and light pressure. Maybe I want this a teeny bit lighter, so there's where your kneaded eraser comes in, just to lighten the areas a little bit, and fingers make good blending tools as well. If we need to clean up the edge, I got my Pentel Elite Click Eraser ZE22. I call it clicky. Use my little clicky eraser to clean up the edges. 